What's going on YouTube? Guinnesson here with a quick tutorial on the Royal Kludge software. Uh, this one specifically for the Royal Kludge RK100 RGB. Uh, quick note, you will need to download separate software for separate keyboards. You can find it on their website or usually the Amazon link in the product description. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on that and this is going to bring you to different profiles. Now this is kind of cool because what it will do is you can have different profiles set up so really good for siblings or spouses that share a computer if they want to change something up they can all you have to do is change profiles uh, also really good for setting up for different programs that you may use a lot that might you might want to change things up on the keyboard do certain do other things to make it a little bit easier for you so you can just switch between profiles instead of having to go back and do a bunch of stuff and then this right here is the macro button now this is kind of cool because you could change it and set up different macros uh, if you're not sure what a macro is macro is basically kind of like a shortcut uh, you could set it to do like set certain things to do like certain keys to do other things uh, some of the stuff can get really intense um, As you can see, I've never set up a macro here on this keyboard. So I kind of don't do it this way. I do it another way. And I'll show you that in a minute. And then right here is all the different software uh, for RGB controlling the colors and everything. Uh, different effects. It doesn't show it on here. I usually leave it on Neon Stream, although I've been doing a custom one lately, which I really like. This one's also kind of cool, the music one down here, because then it acts as an EQ for if you're playing music. Then down here is some more. These are all really cool custom ones. You can change these ones up, which I really like. And then down here is our settings. So you have your languages here. I just have English and uh, another one, I don't know what that is. You could set up your keyboard, like you could reset your factory settings. So if you accidentally, you know, you're playing around on it and you accidentally do something and you're not sure what you did, but you can't fix it, you can't figure out how to fix it and you don't like the way it is, you can go down here and just hit restore factory settings and then that'll restore everything back to its factory settings. Easy peasy. And then here we have firmware updates. Uh, it'll pop up red. There's a firmware update. I don't have one. So I'm going to hit no. And then right here we have software update. And this is also where you're going to get the updated drivers. So as soon as you plug in the computer or keyboard into the computer, you're going to get the basic driver and that'll get you up and running. And you don't have to upgrade it. It's perfectly fine by itself. I've not really intense on making sure I update that but we'll do it for this video so we're gonna click yes it's gonna ask if you want to do shit you say yeah do it yes next it's gonna ask you where you want to put it next next and then install and then it's gonna do its thing and then you're going to click finish and I have it set to automatically open it again and it brings us back to this now getting back to keyboard shortcuts and stuff like that something I really kind of think is cool um, so if you go over here and you right click on that you could set up a custom function or disable the function now that's a key I use fairly often so I'm not going to do that one what I'm going to do is this one here because I never use that key what we're going to do is we're going to go down to a custom function here and we could change it to a bunch of different things, right? So we could do a window shortcut. We could do close the window, window switching, lock the PC, uh, show the desktop, copy, paste, things like that. Uh, you could do a macro definition. I don't have any of those. You could go to multimedia, you could change it to different things like that. 
it's really kind of cool. You could change it to be a combination of keys. So if you wanted to control alt delete, you could do that if you want. And then macro setting down here, of course, you could set it to different macros. And macros you do right down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one. Um, do something simple. So we're just going to call it test. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to do number five. Insert. Then we're going to do it after. All right. And we're going to do two. All right. And then, so now, every time you click that, five will press, and that's so when you press five, and then a couple seconds later, number two will happen. It's kind of cool. You can also import macros, export macros, which is kind of cool. Rename them, do all that sort of stuff. Like I said, I don't really mess around with macros too much. Do let's do backspace. Now you change you could change a bunch of different things on there. I don't really mess with macros um, just because I've never needed to. Really, the only thing I I change is stuff in here, and it definitely makes life a little bit easier. Certain things like that. Uh, what did I change it to last? I had a change for a while. It may have been. Oh, it was window switching. When I was working on some projects for work, I had like five, six different windows open. So I just had that right there. It was really easy to change it. So. That's a basic quick overrun of the software. If you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me a uh, comment on the video and I will do my best to help you out with that. Besides that, appreciate it. Hope you all have a lovely night and I'll see you all again next time. Thank you.